Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about switching characteristics of diode. So, you may know diode is nothing but two electrodes. If you see the symbol of a diode, it is having two electrodes anode and cathode. So, anode is made up of p type semiconducting material and the cathode is made up of n type semiconducting material. When p type and n type materials are placed side by side, then there exists a junction. This is called diode. Diode, two electrodes, two electrodes, anode and cathode. This is one node, this is one node, two electrodes. Okay. So, when p type and n type material are connected together, what do you mean by p type? p type is nothing but it is having majority holes and minority electrons. Majority of holes and minority of electrons. Nothing but more electron, more holes are there, less number of electrons are there. In n type material, majority number of electrons are there and less number of holes are there. When such materials are placed side by side, the holes from the p type and electrons from the n type, they are super important is nothing but uh, combined together and forms a dielectric medium nothing but a junction this is what the junction junction is nothing but it is made up of the recombination of electrons and holes electrons and holes because electron is a negative charged particle hole is a positive charged particle these two are attracted together but not all the electrons and not all the holes will be attracted only the uh, electrons and holes which are nearer to the junction they are connected together and forming because of the recombination there exists a depletion region this particular junction we can also call it as a depletion region depletion region or dielectric material or it may be a junction where the current will not pass until a drift voltage is applied okay definitely we should have external force then only the current will flow then only the current uh, current will flow through the junction otherwise there is no current flow in normal condition this is what the basic construction of the diode now what are the switching characteristics of the diode when the switching characteristics are nothing but we know the basic application of the diode is nothing but a switch basic application of diode is nothing but a switch it acts as on switch or off switch that means it acts as a short circuit or it may be acting as open circuit. So, this is for on diode and this is for off diode. Okay. When the diode is said to be in on state, then there exists a short circuit between two points. Nothing but let it be A and B, two points A and B. And the same two points are separated when the diode is said to be in off state. This is what the on state and off state diode status. And this diode is mainly used as a switch. Okay. Now, on means what forward biased condition. Off means what reverse biased condition. Forward biased condition, reverse biased condition. So, for better understanding, Forward bias condition is nothing but the diode is applied with a voltage where positive terminal is connected to the p-type material and negative terminal is connected to the n-type material. This is p-type, this is n-type, positive, negative. This is the V. In this situation, the diode is said to be operated in forward bias condition and some current is flowing across the junction then the diode is acting as on switch diode is acting as on switch and in the reverse bias condition diode is in the same situation p type and n type but the polarities of input voltage are exchanged that means negative terminal is connected to the p type and positive terminal is connected to the n type then what happens? A reverse current will be flowing. That is IR and here it is a forward current is flowing IF. So, diode is said to be in off 
state of switch. This is what the forward biased switch and reverse biased switch for a diode. Okay, this is the basic operation of the diode. Suppose what we are going to study in this concept of switching characteristics of diode is suppose if a diode is said to be operated in the forward biased condition, assume a condition that the diode is said to be operated in a forward biased condition. Now, immediately if apply, if I inverse the polarities negative and positive, suppose I took out the battery out and again place at the battery with a reverse polarity, then what is the time taken by the diode to switch off? And similarly, when the diode is said to be operated in the reverse bias condition, if I change suddenly the polarities of the input voltage, then what is the time taken by the diode to switch on? This is what the switching times. This is what the switching times. So now I am going to tell you diode forward recovery time. Diode forward recovery time. What do you mean by diode forward recovery time? Suppose assume a diode is said to be operated in the reverse bias condition. Now I am giving the positive supply to the p-type terminal and negative supply to the n-type terminal. Then what is the time taken by the diode to, con to come from reverse bias to forward bias condition? That is what the diode forward recovery time. Okay. So diode now initially it is in the reverse bias condition. Now I am giving a positive supply to the p-type and negative supply to the n-type, what is the time taken by this one? This is what the forward recovery time. Okay. If you observe the waveforms, if you observe the waveform of this one, the current flowing through this junction is IF forward current, this is the current flowing through the diode. So current increases suddenly, input current, let it be the current flowing through the diode is in input current. This is input current having a strength IF. And the voltage across the diode will vary suddenly and having a spike here and going slowly stabilized. But the voltage across the junction slowly increases at this particular time slowly increases it will not suddenly change because because diode is internally having a capacitance action capacitance action see here this is the voltage across the input voltage and this is the voltage across the diode we can say diode voltage when current is large this is diode voltage when uh, we can write a diode voltage when current is large and this is diode voltage when current is small. This is for smaller currents. Okay, it takes some time. Diode is internally, what I said, diode is having a P type and N type and internally it is a Dielectric material. When a dielectric material is separated by a conducting, lead, conducting layer, so then what it is? It is a capacitor. So internally it is having a diffusion capacitance. That diffusion capacitance will take some time to charge to the maximum voltage, whatever we are providing at the input. This is small time instant we are taking it as a diode forward recovery time. Diode forward recovery time. So the forward recovery time we can in uh, forward the forward recovery time we call it as indicated by tfr for a specified for a specified rise time of the input current is the time difference between 10 percent point of the diode voltage and the time when this voltage reaches the remaining 10 percent of the final value okay from 10 percent to we can say 90 percent like a rise time. We can also say that the time taken by the diode to charge from 10 percent to 90 percent of the maximum value. The time taken the forward recovery time is defined as it is defined as time taken by time taken by diode 
to charge from 10% to 90% of maximum value. This is what the forward recovery time. Now coming to the reverse recovery time, reverse recovery time. What do you mean by reverse recovery time? Initially the diode is operated in the forward biaser condition. Now we are changing the polarities of the input supply then the diode comes into reverse direction. Reverse direction, reverse biaser condition. So during this reverse bias recondition, uh, from forward, how much it take, how much time it takes to come into the reverse bias recondition? This is what the reverse recovery time. So reverse recovery time uh, at this particular in the reverse uh, recovery condition, there is a small current flow. See in the forward bias recondition, the current flowing through the diode is IF, which is maximum current flowing. But in the reverse recovery condition we are giving a negative supply to the p type and positive supply to, supply to the n type and diode is said to be reverse biaser condition nothing but off state off means it is nothing but open circuit ideally it is open circuit but practically very small amount of current is flowing small or we can say minority charge carrier current current flows Okay, some current flows through the junction in the reverse direction, some current flows through the junction, this current is known as <coughs> reverse current that is due to minority charge carriers, that is due to minority charge carriers. If you observe the characteristics of minority charge carrier current, that current is more at the junction, but when you are going away from the junction, the current goes and nullifies. Okay, uh, suppose if you take the characteristics of this one minority carrier density distribution as a function of the distance x here it is the x x is nothing but it is the distance i am taking with respect to the junction see this is the junction p type n type exactly i am talking at this junction x is at the center is equal to 0 and it is going in the left side and it is going in the right side here also the same situation i am explaining equilibrium points let it be P01, this is the minority charge carrier current due to holes and it is NP0, minority charge carrier current due to electrons. And when you are going from the junction, a reverse biased junction, in the reverse biased condition, very small amount of current is flowing. This is the NP, nothing but it is due to electrons. This is Pn, it is due to electrons. This is the junction. This is due to electrons and it is due to holes. Now, take the same in the forward bias condition. This is junction and these are the equilibrium points. Equilibrium points for the minority charge carrier currents NP0 and Pn0. Initially, in the forward bias condition, I told you maximum current is there. So, maximum current is there at the junction and when you are going away from the junction, current decreases. Both are opposite. See here. In the reverse bias condition, this is reverse bias condition, this is forward bias condition. In the reverse bias condition, current is low at the junction and when you are going away from the junction, a minority charge carrier current flows and equilibrium current flows. Nothing but we can say what is the maximum extent of that minority charge carrier current that can flow. But in the forward bias condition at the junction current is more but when you are going away from the junction slowly current decreases because at the junction you are having more number of electrons and holes. Okay, So this is what the forward recovery time and reverse recovery time. In the next video I will explain about the storage and transition times of the diode. Thank you.